بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد الدعاء والسلاح المؤمن This is our force This is the strength of a believer ابن قيم رحمة الله عليه وسلم الدعاء is of the most beneficial cures and it is the enemy of all diseases so whether it's for our physical benefit or psychological needs or in front of the enemy iblis shaitan nafs we need to strengthen our dua and we have to become beggars in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the people of iman need to master the field of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to become expert beggars, become the best beggars, so that before we end our dua, a decision comes from the asman. So there was a lady that walked out of a health club, a beggar approached her and said, please, I have had nothing to eat in two days. She looked at him and replied, what an achievement, oh my, I wish I had your willpower. Let me not break your steam, I wish I had your willpower. So where he thought so he was asking and what he got out of it. So to learn the adab, to learn the etiquettes, to abstain from what needs to be abstained from and to inculcate those qualities which will make us mustajabud da'awat. They say Sahaba were once traveling with Hazrat Umar bin Khattab and uh, it was Hazrat Ubay bin Ka'b and Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhuma. They were at the end of the Indaya in Tawraj. So uh, it started raining heavily. So Ubayy radiyallahu anh said, Allahumma sarif anna adaha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dispel the harms of this rain. So he said, when we met Umar radiyallahu anh, all of them was soaking wet. So he asked them, ma asabukum alladhi asabana. What happened with the rain? How come you people didn't get wet? So I said, Ibn Abbas, that uh, obey made dua that Allah must save us from the effects of the rain. So Umar said, Ala da'otum lana ma'akum. Why didn't you include us in your dua? Why didn't you include us in your dua? Somebody came to us at Khalid bin Walid and he had a container of alcohol, intoxicants. So he made dua, Allahumma ja'alhu aslan. Allah converted into honey and it became honey. So the power of dua, we should never ever underestimate the potential, the potency of dua. Say in Medina Munora once there was a qahat, a drought and there was somebody who used to be always be in the masjid so he said, I came to this person while he was making dua and uh, he read to Rakat Salat and he made dua, Ra Ya Rabbi. He said, Oh Allah, please let it rain now. He said he didn't even finish his dua and the clouds started forming in the skies and it rained so much, Makhafat al Gharq, that the people of Medina feared a flood. So then he said, Ya Rabbi, in kunta ta'lamu annahum kad iktafaw farfa'anhum. If you think so, the water is enough, then you can stop the rain. Fasakana. And the rain subsided. So he said, I, I followed this person and I tried to find his uh, home and I located it. And uh, I told him that I've come to you for a need. So he said, Wama, what's the need? 
So he said, to keep me in your dua. So that person said, Subhanallah, anta, anta, you telling me that uh, I should make dua for you, who am I? So I said, I, I, I know what had happened. I know the dua that you made. Tell me what's the secret. He said, you seen me? I said, yes. He said, the fact that you seen me, I'll tell you what's the secret. أَتَعْطُ اللَّهُ فِي مَا أَمَرَنِي وَنَهَانِي I have obeyed Allah in every command and I've stained from everything that is forbidden. فَسَأَلْتُهُ فَعَطَانِي Now when I ask Allah, everything that I ask Him, He grants me. So let us learn this real weapon of a believer. Before we make, we make dua, we should give sadaqah, read salah, salat al haja the salah that we did previously, when a person reads the salah, his dua will be definitely accepted, inshallah. Do not teach it to the fools, the narrators say. So we should back the dua with the amal, with a wasila, some good deeds, etc. person should be in a condition of wudu, and he should be facing qibla, and uh, when a person is making dua also, then he raises his hands Inna Rabbakum Hayyun Karimun Yastahi min abdihi idha rafa yadayhi When you lift your hands and you are making dua then uh, in the ibarat of uh, Shami the hands should be upwards in line with the chest or shoulders and fingers should be facing Qibla and they should be spacing between the two hands like a beggar who is begging for something. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feels shy that a person in this kafiyat and in this condition makes dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asks Allah and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala returns him empty handed. Then when we start our dua we should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Somebody came into Masjid al-Nabawi and he read and then he made dua Allah maghfirli warhamni. So Nabi alayhi salam told him that you have rushed when you read your salat and you sit down then praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bima huwa ahluhu wa salli alayya and read salat on me. So we have to praise Allah then we have to read Salat on Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Then make Dua Ud'u, make Dua Your Dua will be accepted So as much of the praises of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala A person knows Ya man la tarahu al-uyun Wa la tukhalitu al-dhunun Wa la tughayyir al-hawadith Wa la yakhshad dawair Ya man ya'alimu mathaqeel al-jibal There's different ways which Nabi alayhi salam has taught us Allahumma ya kabiru ya samiu ya basiru ya man la sharika lah wa la wazira lah ya khalika shams wal qamar al munir ya ismat al ba'is al khaif al mustajir ya razik al tifl al saghir different adiyah ya jabir al azm al kasir ad'uka dua al ba'is al faqir Ya Allah, I'm asking you the dua of a begging person, a poor beggar. The dua il mutarrid darir, a helpless blind person. As'aluka bi ma'aqil al min arshik. I'm asking you through your throne which is wrapped in dignity. Wa bi mafatihi rahmati min kitabik. Through the keys of your mercy. So different ways of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allahumma inni abduk ibn abdik ibn amatik nasiyati biyadik So speaking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reciting durur al Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam walillahi al asma'u al husna fad'uhu biha then the asma'u al husna Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Malik, Al-Quddus, Al-Salam, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhaymin, Al-Aziz, Al-Jabbar, Al-Mutakabbir, Al-Khaliq, Al-Bari, Al-Musawir, Al-Ghaffar, Al-Qahar, Al-Wahhab, Al-Razak, Al-Fatah, Al-Alim. Till the end, 
even if you have to say all 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we should say that. So, the Asma'ul Husna, then the Ismul A'adham. So, different riwayat, fi hatain al ayatain wa ilahukum ilahu wahid la ilaha illa huwa rahman rahim surah Baqarah. In the beginning of Al Imran, Alif Lamim, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyul qayyum, Ismi Azam. Imam Qutbi Rahmatullah says, Fad'uhu biha. A seek the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but consider each name with a speciality. Ya Rahim irhamni. Oh Rahim, have mercy on me. So use Ya Razik. Oh, the one that gives a risk, give me risk. Ya Hadi, ihdini. Ya Fattah, iftahli. Ya, ya Tawab, tuba alayya. So he says, use the appropriate qualities and sifat when you are asking. Then uh, in, in the riwayat of Aisha radiallahu anha, when she was searching for, searching for Nabi alayhi salatu was salam, and she found him saying, Allahumma a'udhu bi ridaka min sakhatika wa bi mu'afatika min uqubatika wa a'udhu bika minka la uhsi thana'an alayka anta kama athnayta ala nafsik. اللهم نادى دعاء اللهم لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك نبي الله سلام يسوس الله اللهم يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلبي على دينك اللهم إني عبدك ابن عبدك ابن أمتك ناسيتي بيدك ماض في حكمك أدل في قضعك أسألك بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استأثرت به في علم الغيب عندك. So different words of uh, إجابة where when you use these words then your dua will be accepted إن شاء الله. اللهم إني أسألك بأني أشهد أنك أنت الله لا إله إلا أنت الأحد السمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد. Nabi alayhi salam tawlid sahabi Lakad sa'ala Allah bi ismi alladhi idha su'ila bihi u'ti If you ask on this you will be granted and when you make dua your dua will be accepted Yastaftahu bi subhan rabbi al-a'la al-wahhab So that's subhan rabbi al-a'la al-wahhab Likewise Nabi alayhi salam should say Ya hayu ya qayyum ya dhal jalali wal ikram أسألك بإسمك الأعلى الأعز الأجل الأكرم. Then the رواية of أنس بن مالك when I was with نبي عليه الصلاة والسلام and somebody made this dua اللهم إني أسألك بأنك لك الحمد لا إله إلا أنت ال منان بديع السماوات والأرض الجلال والإكرام يا حي يا قيوم Nabi alayhi salam said that وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِي Oh come on, call whoever makes dua with this ismi azam when they ask their dua will be granted. Then Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنهما was of the opinion that the ismu al-azam ismu Allahi al-akbar Rabbi Rabbi Oh Ya Rabbi Ya Rabbi then try to say the words of Yunus alayhi salam La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu mina al-zalimin Then Allah, Ya Allah, Allahumma malikul mulki Mujahid was the opinion that Asif when he brought the throne of Bilqis used the word Dhul Jalali wal Ikram Imam Qurtub Rahmatullah is of the opinion that Ya Hayyu Ya Qiyum was the words that was used then the story of Fatima radiallahu anha when she went to Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam to ask for assistance. Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam gave her the option and she chose the option for five words. And he said that Nabi, I will teach you the words which Jibreel alayhi salam taught me. Quli ya awwal al-awwalin. ويا آخر الآخرين ويا ذا القوة المتين ويا راحم المساكين ويا أرحم الراحمين. 
So the us the the names of Allah, the praises of Allah in those special words, durud, and then we have to express our weakness that Ya Allah, we are full of flaws. Ya Allah, we are we are. قال ربي إني وهن العظم مني واشتعل الرأس شيبا. So Zakir عليه السلام made dua. He showed his weakness to Allah سبحانه وتعالى. نو عليه السلام أني مغلوب فانتصر يا الله. I have been overpowered. اللهم إني ظلمت نفسي ظلما كثيرا. يا الله I have created great oppression on the ظالم. Rabbi inni lima anzalta ilayya min khayrin faqeer. Musa alayhi salam said, Ya Allah, I am needy for whatever good that you can send down upon me. Then we should mention some of our good deeds. Al-lazina yaquluna rabbana innana amanna. Ya Allah, we brought iman, we are striving, whatever little bit we can do, we are doing. Then we should mention some effect of the barakah of our dua being accepted. Inni askantu min dhurriyyati biwadin ghayri dhi zar'in inda baytika al-muharram. Rabbana liyuqimu al-salah. Ya Allah, I've done all of this here so that they can establish salah, they can do good deeds. Waj'al li waziram min ahli Harun akhi. Ya Allah, make Harun a aid and an assistant, give him nubuwat and make him part. Why? كي نسبحك كثيرا. We can make tasbih excessively. ونذكرك كثيرا. And we can remember you. So we should justify sometimes that through this dua, ya ya Allah, what am I ready to do for your din? So asking through the kabuliyat of dua. Then when we are asking, we should be in tears, crying. Allahumma. Ummati, Ummati, wa baka. When Nabi Ali Salaam was making dua, he was in tears. Ma yubkik, O Jibreel, go and ask him what is making you cry. And go tell him, Inna sanurdhika fi ummatika. We will make you happy with regards to your ummah. La yadkhulu nar man baka min khashati Allah. So to cry for the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ بِكَ بُكَا If you can cry for tabaki That show, express, display in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Even if it is just a show But show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are crying Hakim Akhtar Rahmatullah used to say That when you cry in dua and the tears flow Then let the tears flow and wipe it on your face Because the fire of Jannah will not touch Will not touch those parts with the tears of a person crying for the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need protection from the fire of Jahannam. Then he should make dua for himself first and then everybody around him start with himself and his close relatives, his children, his wife, his close family, his locality and like that Hazrat Muhammad Nassim used to make dua as well and he should start from himself going outwards then out tawaf has been made every country of the world. And taking by name the, the shura, the ulama of that country, the mashayikh, the madaris. And then we should make an effort to, to become musajabu da'wat, to read 25 times morning and uh, a day. Allahumma ghfilli jameel mu'minin wal mu'mina, 25 times. Or this dua ya, Allahumma anta khalaqta anti wa anta tahdini wa anta tut'imuni wa anta tasqini wa anta tumituni wa anta tuhyini. If a person says a seven times morning and evening لَمْ يَسْأَلْ شَيْئًا إِلَّا أَعْتَاهُ اللَّهِ إِيَّهِ Whatever dua he makes his dua will be accepted. And the heart should be there, we should have yakin that our dua will be accepted. And uh, if it's in a majma to say Ameen, if the Imam is making dua to say Ameen, don't tell Allah I'm not going to ask for anything else, I'm asking only for this year. And the best of duas to make is the dua for yakin. Yaqeenan sadiqah Ask for yaqeen Then afiyah Allahumma inna saluka al-afwa wal-afiyah wal-mu'afat al-daima fi dini wa dunya wa al-akhirah Rabbana atina fi dunya ahsana wa fi al-akhirah di ahsana wa qina adhaab al-nar These are all common duas And then the jami dua Allahumma inna saluka min khayri ma asalaka minu nabiyuka Muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Wa na'udhu bika till the end 
and then when we end our dua, we should end it with the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reading Durur and Nabi alayhi salatu wa salam Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursalin wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen This is the, the method of making dua May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen